All right, welcome back to Viking Author Reactions. I do not have Ben with me here today as we are doing a little bit uh, uh, of a different take on things. We're going to look into a song um, by NF. The song is Clouds. I know it's a little bit behind. I know it came out a little bit ago, but uh, I've not heard it, and I'm excited to see what it's about. Um, my brother told me this is one of his favorite uh his favorite artists and I have not heard a whole lot from NF so I'm excited to see what this is all about see what I think of it so uh, we'll go ahead and I'll probably break this down a little bit uh, just not so much on uh, you know I'm not really into breaking down bars uh, as much as the, you know what I'm getting and feeling and the concepts I suppose so let's uh, let's see what we have here this is NF clouds So immediately I really like the imagery as it's coming in. You're coming in and I really like the way the clouds are building. And as the clouds are building, you're, you're kind of going into this, the music's starting to build around you as well. I think that's a, that's a really cool graphic as that comes up. And you're starting to see this. I'm assuming this is NF. I don't know if this is the actual artist or, or what. Let's keep going. Feel myself evolving Appalling so much I'm not divulging Been stalling, I think I hear applauding They're calling, mixtapes aren't my thing But it's been awfully exhausting, hanging So starting real slow um, Kind of uh, very methodical and slow um, I like that contrast, that boom And we're out of the clouds but I like that imagery that he was kind of sitting in his armchair and he's drifted off in his mind to clouds right so kind of see where his mind's at going into this on this songs as long as daunting which caused me to have to make a call I thought was ballsy resulting and what you see today proceed indulging as always the one trick ponies here so quit your soaking on efficient got ambition sort of vicious yep that's me not artistic Unrealistic, chauvinistic, not those things. Go the distance, so prolific, post so cryptic, move swiftly. Unsubmissive, the king of mischief, the golden ticket, rare sight to see. I stay committed, embrace. So I'm really liking the imagery that he's going, um, f switching environments so drastically. And, uh, you know, it, it, talking about choices that he's going through here as well. Um, as an author, um, I understand a lot of you know, the songs that I have heard by him I really relate to. Um, you know, your writing is such a, a part of you, and it uh, you never know how people are going to take it. And so going, making decisions can be scary is really what it all is coming down to here. The rigid, I'm playful with it, yeah, basically. Too great to mimic, you hate your bitter, no favoritism, that's fine with me. Create the riddles, put trade in civil, unsafe a little. Oh, yes, indeed, it's plain and simple. I'm far from brittle, unbreakable. You following? I'm Bruce Willis in the train rack. I'm like trading in your car for a new jack. I'm like having a boss getting upset because you asked him for less on your paycheck. I'm like doing headstands with a broke neck. Oh, sorry, I was just reading my first book. A new awakening when I got a rude email from YouTube saying that I played too much of the song. That's why we had to take this little break. Uh, too much of the song was played all at once. So going back to the video now, hopefully it will allow me to post it now. Thanks, guys. I'm like watching your kid take his first steps. I'm like saying Bill Gates couldn't pay for it because it's too broke. Where am I going with this? Unbelievable. Yes, yes, inconceivable. See myself as fairly reasonable. But at times I can be stubborn. So if I have to, I will rock the boat. I don't tend to take the... I really like that. If I have to, I'll rock the boat. Uh, that is awesome. Um, being unbelievable. Being... So far what I'm getting from this is that, uh, you know, I feel like there's a lot of people... Like if you're going to make anything, you kind of have to follow a precept. You have to follow this concept. And if you deviate from that, then you won't be accepted or it's not going to get picked up or people aren't going to approve of what you're doing and how you're doing it. Um, and I like that this is kind of you know him saying that he's different. He's, his stance are going to be 
you know, he is going to be him, um, kind of regardless. I really am liking that message. The easy road, that's just not the way I like the road. Two things probably unfeasible. I don't know already. A hundredfold, a hundredfold. It's probable that I might press the envelope. Ideas so astronomical. Sometimes I find them comical. Yeah. Pressing the envelope. I really am enjoying this. The message of this, and it's slowly building as well. I really like that aspect of it as well. Um, but yeah, I really like that, uh, pressing the envelope, man, I really like that. Uh, incomparable, replay value, phenomenal, beat selection, remarkable, slowing me down, impossible. I rock no rollies, I don't hang around no phonies, I don't really got no trophies, I don't know why God chose me, got something in the cup. Saying he doesn't have the accolades, right, so, um. I really, I really am digging this. Been codeine, changed my style. They told me, now they come around like homie. Man, y'all better back up slowly. Back oh, sorry, I was just reading my first book, A New Awakening, when I got a rude email from YouTube saying that I played too much of this song. That's why we had to take this little break. Uh, too much of the song was played all at once. So, going back to the video now. Hopefully, it will allow me to post it now. Thanks, guys. I come slowly. Who are you kidding? How could you doubt me? I've always delivered. Ripping the teeth out of the back of my mouth. The close you get to my whistle. See, my initial thought was the way. But what can I say? I had to come visit. Check on you guys. You're doing all right. You're yearly socked. Yeah, that's what I figured. They cover their heads up whenever I drop. Shake the whole industry. Put them in shock. Come out the clouds like a meteor rock. Then land in the earth like ready or not. Ain't no one like me to cream me the crop. Don't even front for it. Give me some props. I'll pick up your body and throw it a block. Okay, I admit it. That's over the Top. Not here in the headlight looks every time I step my foot on the ground. I get mistook for a lame with no weight to his name. Ground just shook. Let's not beat around the bush. Even my B sides throw him off like how he do it. Some say I'm a great influence. I don't know about that, but I did do the best I could. Hollywood. Hollywood. It's very interesting. Um, taking on your concept of what you're putting out there. What are you influencing others to do? Even if you're trying to put forth a positive message, that doesn't mean somebody's going to read or hear that and use that as a positive influence. Whatever, I find that especially if you're trying really hard to be one thing and you put it across, there's always going to be a group of people that take it completely different. And so it's hard to say that you are always giving off the same message and so it's kind of interesting there that his his aspect was that he uh we're gonna go back a little bit here that he uh you know doesn't know if he's an influence you know how how he intended to be like how's he do it some say i'm a great influence i don't know about that but i did do the best i could hollywood hollywood hope nate doesn't go hollywood you think that you'll know me good you think that you'll know me good hollywood hollywood hope nate doesn't go hollywood you think that you'll know me good you think that you'll know me so i think he's talking about hollywood and what happens when you start to become big is at least the stigma is that as you become more popular, you change, like I was talking about earlier, you change to fit the narrative that they, they want you to fit. Everybody wants you to fit inside the box that they perceive you in. So as people become bigger, um, you know, they tend to be put into a box of some form or fashion. And so it's talking about Hollywood uh, changing you. Say how I fail, you know I said Raising the bar, I gotta expand Top of the charts, I'm setting up camp Pound on my stakes, I put on my tent Shoot for the stars, they fall on my head Stick to my guns, I don't even flinch Can push all you want, ain't moving the next I rarely mess, you know I'm relentless Ain't got I really like that. So going with that is that he's going to stick to his stance. He's going to continue to push the bar to continue to improve himself. I think that's huge. As uh, as any anything you do if you continue to stay the same in it you don't evolve and you become irrelevant and so every time you do something and you're like this is the best thing i've ever done the next thing needs to be even better than that and sticking to his guns as far as not being able to be put in the boxes that hollywood has for him i think that's really awesome saying that he's going to stay him no matter what happens One, they move in the next. I rarely miss. You know Ain't got a choice, no way to prevent it Just who I am and I don't regret it See what I want and then I go get it Follow my God, I'm happy 
Oh, sorry, I was just reading my first book, A New Awakening, when I got a rude email from YouTube saying that I played too much of this song. That's why we had to take this little break. Uh, too much of the song was played all at once. So going back to the video now, hopefully it will allow me to post it now. Thanks, guys. I did it. Beat all the odds. I ain't got no limits. Can it be stopped? You paying the debts and I ain't got to say it. They know where my head is. They know where my head is. Head is. Clouds is the mixtape. So, um, yeah, I really like that. Uh, it's not typically something I go to. It's not like my go-to music by the by any stretch of the imagination, but I really like that. There were some aspects of it that, uh, eh, that I think that could have been different, like the da-da-da-da, da-da-da-da, seemed very monotone. The tone of the song was all very much the same, just kind of a monotone. So I didn't really dig that as much. Um, but I really enjoyed the message, and I really loved the visuals, and, you know, kind of where his head's at. And I don't know, overall, I just thought it was really, really unique. And I think it's very important that that's a great positive thing, that you're always pushing yourself. I think it's a great message to get out to people that uh, I look at that for myself as a, as a writer or an artist, and that way that you're pushing yourself but you're not changing who you are that you're changing uh yourself for, for the better without changing your your inner core maybe uh is a good way to put that but uh yeah that was really good i'm gonna have to listen to that a few more times to kind of really get the the scope of what he's trying to bring across but i thought that was really cool so uh yeah i hope that you enjoyed the video i hope you and take the time to listen to the song and, and enjoy it uh, and see what kind of limits you have in your life that you can push. What in your life can you set a new bar to, setting goals and setting bars uh, and then achieving and, and breaking and shattering what you thought was possible. That's, uh, that's part of, of growing and it's what makes people stand out. So that's really good. I think that's a very awesome thing. Um, let me know what you think that... Uh, should be that I missed. I'm sure I missed a lot of stuff. So go in here and let me know what you what I missed. Um, I'll definitely um, see what Ben thinks of it. Really enjoyed that particular song, and I'll have to dig into more into NF and see more about what he's about and the songs that he offers. So I enjoyed that. So if you like that video and you like the what I'm trying to bring as an author's point of view to the the entertainment that we do delve into please like and subscribe let us know what you like um, what would you like to see us do next we will be delving into everything from comics to videos um, I'm kind of hoping with uh, overwatch coming out that we'll get a new overwatch short like you know there's a lot of different things that are going to be going on and we'll be delving into everything from music to videos comic books so let us know what you're into uh, what you'd like to see next and subscribe and we'll see you next time.